I'd like to talk to you about slope fields. I'll show you a way of drawing them from scratch and talk a little bit about what they mean, and then I'll show you a faster way of drawing them, something called isoclines. So let's start by drawing one from scratch. We have to draw one for a particular differential equation, so I'll choose this example, dy dx is y minus x. Now what a slope field does is it uses just the, the differential equation to draw in a bunch of little slopes. And these little slopes all over the xy plane are kind of imaginary little tangent lines, tiny little tangent lines, to possible solutions of this differential equation that would be passing through different points in the xy plane. And we can compute those little slopes just by the algebraic expression for the differential equation. Let's do that. So I have x and y and dy dx, and I'll make a table of a few different values, just like I would if I was graphing something by plotting points. So x and y, let's choose some values for x and y. How about 0, 0? That's the origin right here. Now what would the slope of a solution to this differential equation be if it passed through the origin? Well, dy dx is y minus x. So dy dx would have to be 0 minus 0. It would have to have slope 0 if the solution was passing through the origin. So we'll draw in a little flat slope, a little slope of 0 right there. Let's do some more. How about 1, 0? Well, if x is 1 and y is 0, this gives me minus 1. Oops, sorry, I'll write in that 0 there. It gives me minus 1. So if I go over here to 1, 0, I get a slope of minus 1. Let's uh, compute a few other numbers, and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put them in our plot here. How about 0, 1? That's 1. 1, 1 is 0. How about minus 1, minus 1? That's also 0. Uh, we could do some more. Let's just fill those in real quick. 0, 1, I go up here, I get a slope of 1. 1, 1, I get a slope of 0. Minus 1, minus 1, I get a slope of 0. Okay, great. You can see I can go on with this all day long, but it's going to take me a little while. So let me show you a faster way of doing this. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in a few more slope values so you didn't, have, you didn't have to watch me do it. But you can see it, kind of, it takes a while. I had to pick a bunch of points and compute the slope and fill it in, etc. And it's kind of tedious, maybe not the smartest way to do it. Now, a smarter way to do this is using what's called an isocline. An isocline is a line or a curve on which the derivative has constant value for this differential equation. So it sort of flops, flip-flops things around. In this case, what we were doing is choosing x and y values, then computing the value of the derivative. What we're going to do uh, using the method of isoclines is choose a value for the derivative and then find all the x's and y's which have that value. And it actually is a lot easier. So let's choose a value for the derivative. How about dy dx equals 0? OK, so I'm asking for all the points in this xy plane in which a solution to this differential equation would have slope 0. OK, well, that's dy dx equals 0. That's the same as y minus x equals 0. And so all the points, y minus x, where y minus x is 0, the solution passing through that point would have slope 0. But y minus x equals 0, that's, we, we know what that is. That's the line y equals x. And so it's just this nice straight line through the origin. There it is, y equals x. Now, I should just note that this is not a solution necessarily to the differential equation. It's a line along which solutions to the differential equation, when they pass through this line, they must have slope 0. OK, so along this line, I have slope 0. I can fill in all of these flat slopes wherever I want. doesn't matter. I don't even need to mark the axes here. You should, well, you should always mark your axes, but I don't need to. And so you can kind of see this picture popping out. You see how I had these guys right here that were sort of along this, this line? All of these, all of these slopes along the line y equals x must be 0. Let's choose another value. Uh, dy dx equals 1. Okay, That means that y minus x needs to be equal to 1. And that's the same as y equals x plus 1, which is this line shifted up one unit. So let's shift it up one unit, like this. Parallel line of slope 1, just with a different y-intercept. Now everything on that line has to have slope 1. And in fact, that'll be right along the line of the isocline. And I should mark these. This is dy dx equals 0. This is dy 
dx equals 1. Let's do minus 1 next, but let's just note, you can see that here, right here, you could see that line where the slope was 1. Okay, let's do another one. How about minus 1? Okay, if dy dx is minus 1, then you have y minus x equals minus 1, and that's y equals x minus 1, which is this line shifted down one unit. There we go. And all these slopes must be a minus 1. So I'll just fill them in like that, minus 1, etc. And now I'm starting to kind of get a little bit of an idea. I know that if I now choose a smaller slope, I'll probably get something shifted down a bit. And I'll have something which is more of a negative slope, like this, maybe negative 2. And if I go up a little ways, I'll have a steeper positive slope. Let me go up here. Etc. And let's do one more line up a little farther, an even steeper slope. It's hard to distinguish one steep slope from another, but there you go. Now, this is actually a pretty good picture. I can start to see the solutions. I can almost see these solutions to this differential equation. You can see one looks like it's cruising right along this isocline. And that's not always the case that you'll get a solution along an isocline, but this, in this case it looks like you do have one solution along an isocline. Now you've got some others, and they kind of look like they're doing this. Maybe they start in here somewhere. They must be tangent to the slope field at all points, so it kind of looks like they're doing this, this kind of a thing, like that. Again, very qualitative, but you get the idea about the shape of the solutions. A very good idea, in fact, just from a kind of rough method of computing the isoclines and then drawing the slopes along those isoclines. Okay.